Hello everybody, my name is Wid Spaulding. Yes, it's Wid, it rhymes with squid, and I'm with BMC Software, and I'd like to take a moment to show you how Atrium Discovery can assist in the world of service management, specifically in terms of change impact assessment, as well as service restoration. In this demonstration, we will look at how Atrium Discovery helps you improve service management processes. Specifically, we want to look at these two processes, change management and incident management. First, let's start with three industry metrics that support some of the challenges you face with service management. One, 80% of unplanned outages are caused by change or configuration issues. Obviously, 80% is much too high, and our goal with change management is to reduce this number and thereby reduce the impact to business operations. In other words, do no harm in the data center when making changes. When outages do happen, the goal of incident management is to restore service to normal operations as quickly as possible and with as little disruption as possible. 46% of outages take more than two hours to fix. And this third metric is shocking. Your operations team spends on average 16 hours a week investigating and resolving incidents. When you add up the cost of your staff's productivity plus the cost of business downtime, the total cost can be in the hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars for a single outage. It's clear we need to find opportunities to optimize service management processes. Data center auto discovery improves change and incident management processes by mapping the data center infrastructure to the services the infrastructure supports. To restore service faster, Auto Discovery gives your service desk a view of the hardware and software components that make up digital services, so that when there is an outage to a service, the service desk can inform the right people. Because all changes involve some level of risk, your change advisory board gets benefits with this information for change risk assessment, so they can understand the services and the infrastructure components that will be impacted by a change. This demonstration will show the HM Discovery solution, but keep in mind that in service management processes, this data is shared with both Remedy and Remedy Force for the incident and change management processes. And we have many customers who use Atrium Discovery data with ITSM products from other vendors like ServiceNow, Computer Associates, HP, IBM, and others. Now let's look at the infrastructure information in a little bit more detail. Relatively speaking, I have just a few items in my demonstration environment, but obviously those people that have large infrastructures will have tens or hundreds of times more items in there. And the good news is that ADDM can scale to any discovery size because it's cluster capable. You can horizontally cluster these and we have customers all over the world that are doing worldwide scans. As you can see, the data is rich in varied clusters, hosts, network devices, mainframe parts, as well as you can see that there are many reports here that you can run to get further information on your device. Next, we'll go to the Applications tab, which is used to examine and manage business applications, or just call them business services. Just like the previous tab here, you can see there are specific reports to help you answer questions. On the upper right, these reports help with change impact assessment for a whole range of items. Starting at the bottom of the report list, you can see you can look at software products that would impact an application, or operating systems, a particular model of a host, or even one of the specific hosts that might have a problem. Today, we're going to look at it as a network issue. If you're a network person, you might understand how to go ahead and manage the network device, but you might not know, or if you're in the change control board, understand what services would be impacted if you upgrade that device. So you can go here, we can quickly look at a drop-down and select the particular device that we're going to upgrade and then discuss or actually include whether we want to see impacts to virtual 
OSIs as well as just physical OSIs and then run the report and we can get a good idea of the business services that may be impacted if we go ahead and upgrade that particular device. So as we run it, and I'll pull back that data and we can see here we have three applications that may be affected. Electronic business application, both the development and production versions, as well as our MS Exchange production. So bringing down this device could actually have a big impact on what's going on. So now let's talk about service restoration. And when a service is down, everybody wants to know what are the components that make up a service so they can figure out the issue and know if it's their issue. So we could start this investigation from many places in ADDM, but here is one example where we will start at the top and dig down into the application. So we'll go ahead and click on the application instance button. The result is a list of business application instances with some summary data, including the hosts and the application it runs on. So right off the bat, you have good information to start with. Now we've chosen the Imagine application, uh, the production version, in the London office. As you can see, it lists the software uh, contained there and the button down at the bottom where you could see all 13 pieces of software running on there. Further on down, you can see the list of hosts that all the software is running on. But more importantly, you can also take a look and say, hey, maybe it's not this, but one of the applications that this depends on. So it's really dependent on the risk engine. So we can click right away, go into the risk engine. We can see all the application, all the software instances. There's 21 of them that are part of the risk application. We can see the hosts that are there. So you have not just at your fingertips the original application that you know that's down, but anything that's related to it that it's dependent on. So from here, we can drill down into any of the components of the risk engine by clicking on the hyperlink, and we can return back up to the originating application and look at further components there as well. Thank you for taking your time today to go on this discovery journey. Please learn more at bmc.com slash discovery.